So you may have heard about a certain uh, controversy flying around the internet recently um, concerning Logan Paul who's been slated for saying in his podcast that he's going to go gay for a month. Let's talk about that. What's up guys, it's Lucas here and welcome back to the channel. First of all, really quickly before I start this video, I just want to thank my sponsor for this video, SherpaBoost.com. SherpaBoost is a website that offers organic growth options for individuals, influencers and brands on Instagram. By organic growth, they mean exactly that. No automation and no bots. You can sign up now for just one week and their team will work on manually growing your account by targeting other accounts that are most likely to engage with your profile. So for example, if you're an athlete and post regularly about fitness or sports, they would engage with other users who are interested in their sports sports and athletic lifestyle, resulting in an increase in followers and overall engagement. So if you want to try out their services, even just for a week, then head over to the link in the description below or go to www.shipperboost.com. Now that's out of the way, let's get into this. So last night I was laying in bed and came across a whole bunch of tweets aimed at Logan Paul's recent where he says in his podcast Impulsive that he plans on going gay for a whole month <laughs> as a New Year's resolution. It's male only March. We're going to attempt to go gay for just one month. For one oh, month damn. and then swing and then go back. Now, first of all, before I go any further, and no, this isn't another ad, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I just want to clear something up. This video that you're watching now isn't going to be another one of these um, typical rant videos just blatantly going after Logan Paul. In fact, personally, my view on this whole situation is that I think it's ridiculous that people are getting so riled up over this. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, I do totally get why the LGBTQ community were a little bit uh, taken back by what he said. Some more than others, but I will get onto that. <laughs> Obviously, the main thing is that it, it can be seen from what he said that he was making out that gay people have a choice to be gay. Almost making out that anyone can be gay if they just decide it. Obviously, we know this isn't true. I just want to put this out there personally, and I, th I think the vast majority of straight people would probably agree with this. There is no way in hell that I could ever force myself to be gay. I have never met anyone, nor will I ever meet anyone that is gay just because they've decided it. This has been made very clear over the last uh, probably at least 10 years by the LGBTQ community. So what Logan Paul said, yes, it was a little insensitive, but I came to the conclusion last night laying in bed, this isn't worth talking about. It's probably going to die in the next few hours. However, I woke up this morning to find 60,000 angry people tweeting about this, and in particular, um, one certain news site called the uh, Holly Scoop just going ahead and stirring up this pot of angriness even more than it needs to be. This next Logan Paul scandal is potentially his worst yet. If you thought the suicide force thought was bad, just wait till you hear this. Yes, you heard that correctly. Worse than the suicide forest situation. Hmm. The suicide forest wasn't just offensive, it was just just disgusting. It's just hor horrific. Horrible. The site then goes on to just blatantly judge everything else about um, Logan's personal life choices. He wanted to do something called Fatal February, where he basically eats nothing but meat, which is fair enough. We all have the right to eat whatever we want to eat without being judged, right? Nope. But then the positives started to decline and the guys went on to say that after January, they're reversing what they've worked so hard for and are doing what they call, quote, fatal February. Steaks, like big bottles of Tito's and shit, like Hell just yeah. wild and, and out. Okay, so much for a good 2019. She then goes on to talk about the fact that Logan says he wants to be gay for a month and is acting like it's some kind of major crime. She doesn't even want to say it for herself. I hate this so much, I can't even say it out loud. There are literally people out there Killing people for being gay, and this girl's getting uh, getting riled up about this. Just am <laughs> amazes me, to be honest. This doesn't mean that I'm supporting what Logan said. Personally, I do kind of feel like he's playing out the LGBTQ community like it's a bit of a bit of a fad. But the point I really want to make in this video is that why does it really matter what one guy said anyway? The LGBTQ community seems to be stronger than ever um, these days, and when I see people getting angry over something as petty as this, it just seems just really silly. Personally, I think if it wasn't for various news sites kind of drilling up this story, um, I don't think it would have been as big as it is now. If you don't know, comedians all around the world make jokes about the LGBTQ community every day. Just simply because um, the community is more prominent in society now than, than it's ever been. Not all of the jokes that are made are appropriate, but people just generally move on like they always have. I really don't want to use the people are too sensitive comment. Um, because I know it's easy to be offended by and upset by things that are said online these days. I personally get hundreds of horrible um, comments aimed at me every month and uh, it, it's easy to, to take them to heart and to take offense. But what does this really achieve? Nothing. 
it, it just makes people angry. I will use this moment to say that I do support the LGBTQ community and, and everything they stand for, and I generally just kind of encourage people just to be who they want to be, just, just be you. If I don't like something or someone, I move away from it. I don't have anything to do with it because that is what makes me happier. But sitting in my room, angrily tweeting about something or someone or whatever, it, it does nothing. But yeah, that's my view on this whole situation anyway, if you've made it this far in the video. This kind of went a, a lot more deep than I thought it would, but I, I just wanted to get these views across. I mean, come on, like this is what YouTube is for, right? Like I just kind of wanted to give my opinion on this. So uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below because um, I'm always interested to hear what your guys' thoughts on things like this are. Um, on surrounding topics like this because this is quite a touchy topic. I'm back at uni now So hopefully I'll be getting more um, videos out on a regular basis So if you want to subscribe feel free to do that down below as always Thank you for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one